It's Mark Young for Mark by God's Word. How are you guys doing? Kamusta pong lahat? Good afternoon. Uh, well, right now, as you can see, I'm just parked here sa hospital. Uh, sundo tayo kay doktora ngayon. And, yeah, no worries. Hindi ako nakamask kasi sealed naman. And we have our, boom, Lysol. <laughs> so, yun. Lysol, baka naman. <laughs> Well, uh, I just want to share, uh, I'm really sorry, medyo hindi ako nakapag-upload uh, ng video right on the dot kasi nga uh, medyo busy po sa panahon ngayon and, and you know, there's a lot of things that I need to do, I need to drive doktora and ano, you know, isa lang car namin yan so kailangan talaga namin kung mayroon siyang appointment, kailangan doon, kung may papakuha and everything, ganun talaga and then I also started you know uh, selling something no kasi kailangan uh, you need we need really we need to really earn no mga kaibigan alam naman natin yung hirap ng nangyayari ngayon and yeah marami pong pagsubok pero God is good all i can say is God is good pa rin kasi alam ko minsan parang ang dali mo kasi sabihin kasi ganito ganyan i i, I really understand if na, some of you are naiinis sa mga toxic positivity ba yun? Uh, alam ko maraming ano eh, maraming nagsasabi, you have to be positive. Okay, uh, about that, uh, I have nothing against it. Tama naman, we have to be concerned or, what do you call this, sensitive about this, the, the, the emotions of others. Pero kaibigan, if we're not gonna be positive, saan tayo magpo-focus? Diba? Kung saan tayo nakafocus, yun yung mangingibabaw sa mind natin, yung mangingibabaw sa thoughts natin, yun yung mangingibabaw sa pakiramdam natin. Parang yung kwento yan sa mga sales, sa mga sa mga attitude, characteristic, mga ganyan, like yung dalawang wolf daw sa buhay natin, there's the black wolf and the white wolf, yung white syempre being good and the black is being evil. Ngayon, dalawa yan nandiyan sa buhay mo, nasa buhay natin. And kung sino yung pinapakain natin, siya yung magiging malakas. So meaning, if we were, we're going to do bad things all our lives, or yun yung lagi natin ginagawa, nagsisinungaling tayo, or nananakit tayo, na, na, we're judging people, ang nag-grow na wolf sa buhay natin is yung black wolf, syempre yung masama, kasi siya yung nafe-feed eh. So ngayon, going, same banana, going to positive thinking and negative thinking. Or let's say yan nga, sabi nga ng karamihan yung emotions kasi ng tao, anong i-feed mo? ba diba? Parang sa akin lang yan, mahirap mag-lose weight pero mahirap din maging mataba. Anong pipiliin mo? Ano, you, you have to choose kung ano yung mahirap sa'yo. So ako, uh, kaya kami positive, I'm not saying na maging positive ka rin, pero we're sharing hope or we're sharing good news or positivity kasi, guys... Ang dami naman ng negative na nangyayari. Even the news, sobrang negative na dadagdag ang pamba natin. Anong i-feed natin? We have to choose. ba? Diba? So, ngayon, uh, I choose positivity, like I said. Uh, yun nga. I wanna share uh, God's word dito sa Psalms chapter 34. Sabi dito ni David, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. And then, dun pa lang sa sinabi niya na yun, kung makikita natin, if you know the story of David, kung nagbabasa ka ng Biblia, marami rin yung time na naging problemado siya, maraming time na talagang dumaan siya sa sobrang hirap na sitasyon, na to the point na he was crying out, Lord, nasaan ka? Lord, ba't mo ko iniwan? And everything like that. Pero still, dumarating sa punto ng kanyang pag-iisip sa kanyang buhay na sinasabi niya, I will bless the Lord at all times and His praise shall continually be in my mouth. And then, sabi pa nga dito, My soul makes its boast in the Lord. Let the humble hear and be glad. In verse 3, the last verse na gusto kong basahin is, O magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt His name together. There was a story about this young boy na binigyan ng binoculars. Yung binoculars, yung stereoscope. Ngayon, yung binilan siya ng daddy niya ng ganun, nakita, napansin ng daddy niya, every time na lang na nakikita niya tong gamit niya, baliktad. Uh, you know what I mean? Uh, yung 
yung pina, yung mata niya nandoon doon sa dapat sa kabilang side. Ni gets niyo ah uh, paano ba paliwanag to? So, make the long story short, 'di ba pag naka-binoculars ka, yung ma yung malayo nakikita mo nang malapit. So, yung malapit nakikita mo nang malaki. Minsan nga hindi mo na makita dahil sobrang laki. So, ang ginawa niya, the other said uh, he's using it the other way around. Uh, yung malaki ang nasa mata niya, so ang nakikita niya maliit. Ngayon, one time, napansin na ng daddy niya to eh. So, sabi niya, kailangan pigilan ko to kasi he's doing it the, the wrong way. He's using it the wrong way. So, lilapitan niya anak niya. Anak, hindi ganyan gumamit ng binoculars. Kailangan, ito, this side, uh, dito mo sa side lalagay yung mata mo para makita mo yung malayo. And you know what? Sabi ng bata, alam ko, dad. Oh, alam mo pala eh, sabi ng daddy. Bakit ginagawa mong ganito? Kasi dad, nakikita mo yung pinapanood ko na yun, sabi niya. Yung tinitingnan ko doon, sabi niya, oh, yung mga kalaro mo. Actually, hindi ko kalaro yun, dad. Bully yun. Binubuli niya ako. Now, whenever I'm using my binoculars the other way around, lumilit siya sa paningin ko. So, nagiging malit siya. Wow. And you know what? It's true. Sabi dito ni David, Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt His name together. You know why? Kung sino yung namamagnify mo, yun yung lumalaki. Di ba? Kung tutusin, malaki na ang Lord. Pero sabi ni David, i-magnify natin si Lord. That's just like what I'm saying kanina. Kung sino yung finifeed mo, kung sino yung mas iniisip mo, kung ano, naka, kung saan ka nakafocus, yun yung nangyayari sa'yo. Make sense? Kaya nga siguro ako, honestly, marami rin po akong problema. Marami po araw-araw may problema po ako. Araw-araw may hinaharap tayong challenges. Araw-araw, <laughs> we, we make sin. ba? Diba? Pero, Am I going to focus on the things na nagkamali ako or or I would just focus on God's mercy and grace and His provision and blessing and all para mawala yung focus ko dun sa negativity or sa negative na nangyayari sa akin ngayon, di ba? Kasi okay lang sana if yung worrying and being anxiety, uh, uh, having anxiety attacks or, or uh, depression or whatever, which is, Naranasan ko po yan sa mga nakakilala po sa akin. Alam niyo naman po ang story ako. Pero if I'm going to focus on that, on that kind of situation or on that situation, may naitulong po ba sa akin to or may maitutulong po ba? Di ba wala? Actually, it will make you think of doing wrong things more. So what I'm trying to say is, let us magnify the Lord in our lives. Believe me. Things will be much easier. Things will be much lighter. You know, because we magnify it. Eh. We magnify the Lord. Eh. We magnify on the positive or possible things that could happen, diba? Because if we focus on the negative side or the the problems that we have, we magnify it. Wow, I'm telling you mas mahihirapan po tayo sa buhay na to lalo na sa panahon niya sobrang ang dami ng mga problema ang daming mga wrong, bad news and everything but if we magnify the Lord and exalt His name together I'm telling you good things good things will happen I believe because I believe in God and I believe that He makes miracles He makes wonders all the days of our lives. Hindi, hindi pwedeng papabayaan tayo ng Diyos because He loves us. Actually, ako siguro testimony lang. As time goes by, I realize how much God loves me. In, in realizing that or focusing or looking on that part of my life na napakapangit, I lost it before. You know, I, I, I've hurt someone by words, by actions, di ba? Someone, na-lose ko yung trust or na-lose nila yung trust ko. Things like that. But one thing I realized, that there's no more important thing in life than realizing that God loves you. That God loves me. Why? Like I see, like I always say, no, nature. Ang ganda ng nature, ang ganda ng creation ng Lord. Sobrang ganda. 
Actually, I'm going to put some video clips ng ganda talaga ng field, tapos looking at the mountains. Ang ganda talaga, di ba? And aminin natin, we're amazed. Nakakalma tayo sa mga ganyan. But here's the good news. Jesus did more than that. Di ba? He gave His life for you. And you know, there's no greater love than this that a man could give his life for a friend. Baka nga kahit best friend natin won't die for us, but Jesus did. That's how He loves you. And that's how God loves you. Why? For God so loved the world, He gave His only begotten Son. Diba? Siguro walang ama or walang ako as a parent. I cannot do that. Sacrificing my son, sacrificing myself. But, you know, good news is, yun yung real story ng buhay. No matter how hard life is, kung ano man pinagdadaanan mo, this is the good news. God loves you. And He is just waiting for you to come to Him. To pray and ask whatever you need to ask. He will answer.